Anyway, uh, in studio with me today is uh, Johan Stratum, who's the MD of World Leisure. We've got him in here because you guys are, are experts in Mauritius, which is one of the, uh, the most popular destinations for South Africans to travel to. But we're going to be talking about Mauritius, the Mauritius you know, and perhaps the Mauritius that you don't know. Welcome to the studio, Johan. Thank you very much, Warren. It's a pleasure to be here. Good. Okay. Well, uh, Mauritius, as I said, it's a very, very popular destination. Yeah. Uh, I think it remains so, as far as I'm aware. Um, but mainly because people go to the resorts and, and do absolutely nothing. I think Mauritius has got a couple of very interesting aspects to it, Warren, that makes it very popular. The one part of it is obviously that we are familiar with it. It's almost like on our back door here. It's a four-hour flight, and I think a lot of South Africans have done it. In fact, over 90,000 uh, South Africans a year right. makes the trip. But uh, it's got other things. You know, there's no visa requirements. It's a healthy environment. It's got fantastic climate. You know, the hotels have a very high standard. The service, e service ethic is very high. So you can rattle off these things. You know, it's a safe destination. And South Africans appreciate that very much. And I think um, that's why they go. But... You know, I'm representing a lot of nice hotels, which well, I'm sure you'll ask me about. Well, let's yeah, let's let's start at the beginning with the with the resorts and the hotels, because that's where people that's what people know Mauritius for. That's what they think about Mauritius for initially is the is the luxury resorts and things that uh, that you can go to. Can you give us some examples? Yes, of course. Uh, World Leisure Holidays is the company I represent. We belong to uh, uh, the, the Sun Resorts Group, and uh, as such, we own five hotels in Mauritius. Three on the east coast and two on the west coast. So I'll start on the west. Uh, the two on the west is very famous, very popular hotel South Africans love. Either one is Sugar Beach. Uh, right. It's a five-star property. And the other one is Lappy Roque. These two hotels are virtually on the same earth. So what makes it so nice is you can share the amenities. So if you want to go for dinner or something next door, you can do it. The one is a four-star and the one is the five-star. The Sugar Beach is five-star. If you go to La Pirogue, therefore, what you do is you can share in some of the five-star amenities. You know, So that's very nice. Oh, you see, you're giving away the tips already. For yeah, so own. that's a travel tip okay, for today. Right. But uh, then we've got the three on the East Coast, um, two of which are new for us and the one which is an old stalwart. I'll start with that one. It's Latous Rock. Latouse Rock is one of the grand dames of uh, Mauritius. It is a leading hotel of the world, five star, of course, and it's absolutely exquisite. It's it it's got the the, the property it owns is mind boggling because it owns two uh, islands. Okay. The one island is um, Ilo Surf, and there we've got a beautiful golf course that was designed by Bernard Langer. It is a championship course, but my son and I play it, and you know, if we can play it, anyone can play it because I'm, <laughs> I'm slightly <laughs> better than a hacker, you know. <laughs> but yeah, so it's a beautiful place. The other island is Ilot Manjini. It's a private island. On that island, we've got Robinson's um, as a restaurant there, which is a must. If you go there, you go there by boat. You have to visit that. And Robinson's is named after him because um, he's the mayor of this little island, and he serves there, so you can have a nice little discussion with him. So that's uh, Latus Rock. A little bit further down on the east uh, coast, we've got uh, Long Beach. Long Beach is a new hotel we built a couple of years back. And uh, it is, uh, it's a very interesting concept. The concept is that of a village. And then you've got like a little town center with a piazza. Around the piazza, you've got restaurants and the music spills over onto there. And the idea there is that you don't have your typical buffet element. Um, right. Where on Mondays you have... Uh, uh, Indian food, Tuesdays, French, and so forth. What we do there is we've got five restaurants. And you do what you would do in your normal daily existence. You right. know, you book your restaurant in the day, and then you go to the beach and you enjoy yourself. And in the evenings, you go into the little town, see the entertainment, go to the restaurant. Now, just on the restaurants, there's a Greek one, which is called Le Marche. Then there's a, a Chinese one, Chopsticks. There's a Japanese one, Hasu. Then we've got an Italian one and a fish restaurant. The fish restaurant is called Tights. So you, you then have a choice of right. what you want to go and eat. And this is included in your half-bought package. So in other words, you don't have the, sup the typical supplement. Although some of the dishes, if you go for a very exotic dish or something like that, you may have to pay a small supplement, but it's rare. Uh, except for maybe in Hasu, because in Hasu, the, the Japanese restaurant, you know, you can uh, imagine the food can escalate quite quickly. Okay, yeah. So there you could, yeah. could have a supplement. And then finally, we've got Arm, Ombre, Arm. It's, it's for the color amber, you know. Um, it's not a new hotel, but we took it over about two years ago, renovated the place completely. So there's a lot of South Africans that may have been there three, four years back, but they... Their, their memory of it is completely different to what it's now. We've completely modernized it, beautiful infinity pool type scenarios. 
This hotel is, is different. It's a four-star property, but for the grown-ups, it's for 16 years and older. Okay. So that creates a bit of a tranquil haven there for people that don't want to be surrounded by kids right. and they want to do their own thing there. Uh, so obviously the entertainment has been adjusted to that sort of scenario. Beautiful food. One of the nice things is a little restaurant on the beach called La Plage. Now this restaurant is um, unique in the sense that it lets you have your dinner in shorts and bare feet because it's on the sand. And I often see the people between courses, you know, just drifting off to the beach in front. Right, right, right. Sitting there, sipping their wine, maybe smoking a cigarette, whatever. So it's really, it's really uh, an idyllic environment. For somebody who doesn't really know Mauritius, what's the difference between the East and West Coast? Is there one? There is one. Uh, the East Coast, uh, the prevailing wind is from East to West. So you find the wind blows first through the east and into the west coast. So by the time it gets to the west coast, it dies down a bit. So the west coast is a degree or so warmer. Okay. Um, and some people uh, would argue that the east coast might be quite windy. Okay. And yeah, you've got times of the year, and obviously when you book through us or a travel agent um, uh, that supports our product, which all of them do, um, they will advise you which times of the year to go, go where. But you can have a beautiful holiday on both sides. There's a temperature difference, slightly, slightly. Um, one should even not even say much about it because it's less than a degree. And there could be wind. Our properties are obviously built in such a way to right. maximize their positions on the windy side of the island. Just to give you an example, on the East Coast, you find some of the best hotels in Mauritius. So they wouldn't have built them there if it was a disaster. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, now, obviously, we've been talking about the, the resorts and the kind of classic way to go and relax on a beach and do the water sports and take in some, some sun rays. Um, but there are, um, of, of late, people have been selling Mauritius on, on a lot more than just the resorts, trying to encourage people to, to get out. Do you uh, encompass that sort of thing as well? Do you yes, we do. Um, you know, Mauritius is very studious, the Mauritians. Um, so what they've done is they've built beautiful shopping centers. And South Africa is, uh, South Africans like to shop. Mm. Um, so they even arrange for you to be taken to the shopping centers and be brought back. So that's very nice. And obviously, uh, you're quite amazed when you go into the shopping centers because you recognize all the shops. You know, you've got <laughs> Woolies and you've got <laughs> a pick right. and pay and you've got all the, the normal things. So, yeah, that's very nice. And it's, it's worth uh, a trip. Um, but then culturally, Mauritius have a lot to offer. And it's very important to, to decide what you want to do. They've got a couple of very interesting and exotic things, like you'd w you could walk with wild animals, like tigers and, um, well, I think lions specifically I know of. You can do undersea walks. You can go out on catamarans. You can vis visit the cultural sites. Um, you know, so there's quite a bit of things to do. And on our website, we try and capture a lot of this. We work very closely with the MTPA, the Mauritius Tourism Promotion Authority, to also, uh, you know, promote the island itself. And our website is www.wlh.co.za. And there you can see what you possibly can do. Also, if you call our call center or a travel agent uh, on 0860-954-954, you can ask about these and we will advise. And I recently had a, a very nice bottle of rum, not by myself, you understand. <laughs> I'm going to put officially out there uh, from Mauritius. And apparently this is becoming quite a big thing there is, is the, the rum industry and the kind of really top level stuff to rival Jamaica and, and the Caribbean. Um, are, you, uh, are you a rum drinker? Yep, absolutely. If you go to Mauritius often like I do, you get, uh, you get quite a bit of rum. But I can tell you, uh, you know, they've got a lot of sugar plantations. They, they're in the sugar industry. You can get many types of sugar as well. So that's another excursion you can do. And obviously, a rum is uh, a, a sugar-based, cane-based yep. drink. And so they can make some of the best rums, you know. And, and uh, yeah, no, it's, it's, a, it's an amazing drink. You can... Um, one of the ways I prefer it is with a splash of ginger, uh, ginger ale, because it, it gives it just, but you mustn't mix it, you know, you just put a splash in there. Okay. Yeah, well, so no, rum, uh, is, uh, no, rum is a great drink, you know, it, <laughs> it, it's definitely a lifter. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's already, there's more reasons for it. No, I've got a cater for our listeners. These are the things they want to know oh, that I they see. can get okay. messed up there. <laughs> it's one of the... Um, Incidentally, sorry, well, yes. when you go to Sugar Beach, you often find that there's a bottle of lum, rum labeled with your name on Oh, so well. you can actually bring it home and show it as a piece. Oh, well, there you are. <laughs> There's <laughs> already a reason to go. Now, um, I was told one of the, the things that they're trying to do is, is get people to go hiking in the Black River Gorges National Park there, which is obviously the, the highest point on Mauritius. Have you ever actually hiked up to the top there? I haven't actually done that trip, but um, it's, it is a thing that people do do. 
And I think there's there's plenty of things that you can experience there. For example, people can do um, you know uh, rides with dolphins and dolphin watching, and things like that. So yeah, very very much so. Okay, so the idea is go to Mauritius, stay at the at the luxury resorts, but have a look around. I think. Yeah, the idea is actually to phone or contact uh, World Leisure Holidays through the travel agents. Let me just say a word about them. Uh, the South African travel agent core. There's plenty of them, are all uh, World Leisure Holidays friendly because we've, we represent the product and uh, typically South Africans want to go to their travel agent to, to book and you won't find a problem if you request our product. If you want further direct detail, of course, you can phone that number and uh, we can give you some advice. And are you actually on Twitter? Can people ask advice from you? Yeah, you can come on Twitter. We're on Twitter. We're on Facebook as well. So yes, absolutely. We encourage a discussion there. Okay. Yeah, you can ask from anything. Well, that's from, perfect. From Rum to the Black River area. <laughs> Ideal. Dead right. Thank you very much, Johan. Appreciate having you in the studio. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.